Welcome to something a little different today. Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video while playing some Ultimate Sand Trap Firefight. Now I've got some questions here. I did put a post out on my community tab. I'm essentially just going to go through a few of these questions. Maybe I might end up going through all of them. We'll see. If not, they'll be used again in another Q&A at some point. I don't want the video to be overly too long, but we're just going to play some Ultimate Sand Trap and uh, we'll uh, answer some of these questions. Uh, I'm going to start with first question here from Convergence. Would you want the next Halo campaign, if they're even, if they're even going to be one at this point, to be an open world or linear levels with or with a mix of closed areas? It's a good question. Um, I'm going to say, in terms of the main campaign experience, I think. I, pref I mean, Infinite obviously attempted its open world. Everyone's got their opinion on that. Mine being, I. I prefer the linear levels, but looking back on Combat Evolved with sort of the semi-optional areas of where you can go, what order you can do things in, like on the Mission Halo, I like that kind of stuff, but if, for an open world experience, why not use our multiplayer Spartans in an open world sort of thing, you know, going around doing certain missions and tasks or whatever, it doesn't necessarily just need to be chief focus, that could just be the campaign. I think that'd be a good, you know, good, good PVE experience, and then also you've got the war games multiplayer side of it uh, as well. Let's have a look. Next one, oh, Dark Spark. Dark Spark has been with the channel for a while. This is a bit of a long one here. First of all, how are you doing? It seems you've been putting a lot of uh, some extra work into your videos lately, and been quite entertaining. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. And yeah, I have been putting some more work into it. I've decided to move away from the short of it because personally. I feel like I'm more proud of making a longer video, which is no no insult towards anyone who does shorter vids and that, you know. I think th th there's a lot of great creators on here doing short stuff, but me personally, I've just decided to move away from it and do longer stuff. I might set up a second channel and carry on some shorter stuff just for the sake of, uh, just for, you know, still doing them kind of videos. I, I mean, I did have some ideas floating around, but I am just sort of going f full hog with the long form content. And then uh, got a second question here from Dark Spark. I've been working on my mo my own mock script for an ideal Halo 7 campaign. It's split into six chapters with at least seven missions each for more development time and the opportunity for a complex story that doesn't get too convoluted. I know there's basically no chance 343 would ever pick up my ideas, but frankly I would like to try at least. I would love to talk to someone about my ideas and get a community and get a community to support my script. I don't really know how to do that though. What are your thoughts? Would you be willing to Except a Halo campaign written by fans, hypothetically, if enough support was given to the project, do you think 343 would actually have the balls, or humility for that matter, to accept a script written by someone out of the company, than just one, just use it to make a campaign off of? Sorry for the long question, I promise. I simply much again. Uh, I appreciate this question, it's a good question. I think the thing is, getting a lot of fans together, obviously. We all know a lot of us have got different opinions in that and we would have conflicting ideas. But if we could all become organised and have an agreement on something that, as fans, we could all agree on, I feel like that would be an experience for the better. In terms of 343 accepting that, not a chance. I don't ever, unfortunately, I don't ever see it happening at all. But I think it would be a good idea for the fans to, you know, to have a go, sort of have some input or something like that. I think it would, you know, Halo could really benefit from it. For a wider audience, of course, 343 are trying to do whatever, I mean, attempt to attract a wider audience, they've, I'd say, well and truly failed in that. But I think the next, just keep the fans on side, because when the fans like, well, unless people, people who like 343 and like the games, fair enough, but for the people who keep getting annoyed at them and feel like we're being pushed away from the franchise, you know, we've all supported and grown up with, it's just not a good move. If you end up pushing us all away, and your wider audience thing ain't working, you're not, you're not going to have anyone left, so in conclusion, I think it would be a brilliant idea for the fans to write a game, but it, it won't happen, unfortunately. <laughs> it is what it is. Next question from, uh, sorry if I get your name a bit messed up here, Quatre Rebebe Winner, that's, hopefully that's right. How would you describe the hell of running a Halo-centric YouTube channel? <laughs> I think hell might be a little bit of an overstatement, but, um, Obviously, with the state of my channel, really relies on the state of Halo, and with the state of Halo being in, you know, well, we all know what state it's in at the moment. It's a bit tricky at the moment, I'd say, 
I did recently, well, before I started doing longer videos, once I got a PC and started, you know, doing the Cursed Halo series and some mod showcases and whatever, I was getting just really fed up with it in general, like, I was getting to the point I was just putting out videos for the sake of it and didn't really care. I was not making content I was proud of and it's just, I became just annoyed with the franchise, but, and well, not the franchise, 343 and obviously Microsoft as well, just for what has happened and how dull Infinite is in my opinion. So, I won't describe it as hell, I think it's getting better now. I've got access to the mods and if there's one thing that's going to be keeping Halo alive, it's the modding community because, my god, they are incredible. I hope that answered your question well enough. <laughs> Inductive Grunt 9, another person who's been with the channel for a long time now. Genuine question, has there ever been a time when you actually hated Halo and do you need a hug when you have such moments? Also, do you need a hug after playing Cursed Halo CE on Legendary? <laughs> Uh, has there been a time when I've actually hated Halo? Right before I started doing the videos I'm doing now. Just before that, I was getting, I was getting frustrated, I was getting annoyed, obviously. The channel views were dwindling and they're starting to carry, starting to, starting to pick up again now. And I'm doing these longer videos, which I enjoy doing, and I'm glad you guys enjoy them. Instead of the old stuff that I used to do, which wasn't exactly, you know, didn't take much. <laughs> so, I did hate Halo at that, at that point, especially when 343 just kept slapping us and slapping us with terrible things. You know, it just it just got annoying, didn't it? And do you need a hug after playing Cursed Hill Legendary? <laughs> Thankfully, I am managing all right. I have played the library now. I don't know if that's going to be out on the channel uh, by the time I've uh, uploaded this video, but I'm managing, I'm managing, suffering, but managing. <laughs> and I'll make it through to the end and I'll, I'll see it through. But I'm going to say it's not as bad as I thought it would be. But that doesn't mean it's not easy. It doesn't mean that is it is easy. <laughs> it's definitely not. If you were in charge of developing ODST back then, you would have found a way to include. Would you have found a way of including enemy elites? If so, what levels? In terms of the timeline, obviously, I'm pretty sure the conflict between the elites and the UNSC was still ongoing. There was still that rivalry there, so it would make sense. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it would make sense for elites to show up in the campaign, but obviously alongside Brutes and the Schism being ongoing at that point. Well, I believe it is anyway in terms of the timeline. I don't know how long it took to, for the for uh, an Amber Clad to actually get to Delta. So I swear it took a while. I'm, I'm still get confused on all them all them details, but uh, I'd say having just having some elites in some levels would be good, and obviously you could have the elites and Brutes in the middle of fighting each other, like in Halo 2. And then you're sort of brought into the middle of that fight and you've got to deal with that. So, in conclusion, yeah, I think elites would have worked in the campaign and I would have implemented them in sort of... Not... They wouldn't be there much. They wouldn't be there often. But when they are there, it's sort of a different experience because in ODST it is just you versus the Covenant. Obviously there's no Flood. There's no third party. But having the elites fighting around and maybe a part way through the elites could end up siding with you. Who knows? What do you think about that? <laughs> Um, here we go. Oh, by the way, that question was from Primus versus Unicron. Next one is from Warwick Miller. What is your favourite kind of cheese? Mine is Shropshire Blue. It's Red Leicester for me. It's creamy and it's nutting. It goes really good in a cheese toasty with some ham and maybe a little bit of mozzarella in there as well. Nice mix of the cheese. But for me, Red Leicester is my favourite cheese. Mozzarella coming in second. F first. So the first, first to comment, have you ever played Rain World? It's pretty fun. I can't say I've played Rain World, I, I can't say I've actually heard of it before, but I, I could I could have a look at it, and I'll, I'll have a, if it's something I would be interested in, who knows, I might end up playing it on the channel, you never know. <laughs> this one is from Hacker. Simple question, who's your favourite, Emil or Ghost? Ooh. They are both two amazing characters, and I do like Ghost in the in the new games, but I, I preferred him in the original Modern Warfare 2, and I'll say, both death scenes, absolutely heartbreaking scenes to see, but for me, Emil is my favourite. I'm, I am the Halo guy. Darkfire7881, if hypothetically you were forced to stop doing Halo content, what content would you do instead? This is a scary thought for me because I've, I've kind of got that that decision sort of in my mind thinking I'm going to have to actually make a choice at some point if 
Halo keeps continuing going down like it is. And in all honesty, I really don't know. I guess I'd just do... I'd just start playing various... Just whatever game I feel like playing, really. Sort of just random games that I could enjoy. And I could, you know, just play whatever and you guys would enjoy enjoying it. That is the dream, but I feel like I'm in too deep. And, well, not unfortunately, I'm grateful for where I am now. But I'm in too deep with this Halo channel that switching things up... I don't feel like it'd work very well, but who knows? I, I might do some more experimenting with videos, and see what works. Just you know, throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. Next one, we're from Wolfboy seven five six. How do you feel about green beans? Uh, I can't say I've got a strong opinion on them, but I mean, if they're on the plate, I like them. I don't detest green beans, but you know, I'd say indifferent. <laughs> Um, Modern Warfare 3 Sandman question are you the super are you the city superintendent wouldn't you like to know fortunately due to Oni I cannot divulge uh, secrets like that I do apologize <laughs> this one is from one gen extras have you ever played Subnautica and if so did you like it I have played Subnautica and I loved it I first became familiar with it when I was back in school and I think, what was it, Jacksepticeye played it. And I instantly fell in love with that game. I've, I've, there's a drawer in, hiding around in my in, uh, in a drawer somewhere in a folder that I did. That is of the Reaper Leviathan and uh, a lot of other creatures in like one of the biomes. And then when I finally got to play the game, absolutely loved it. I still haven't actually managed to beat it because I've got the worst attention span ever. But I, I, I need to get around and actually finish Subnautica and maybe play some mods for it as well since I've, I've got my PC now. Question from CR, how's your day today? I am having a good day. The weather is nice today, which, if you live in England, especially the north, is a rare occurrence and I'm going to make the most of it. I am recording today, I'm going to do some editing that I need to do and then I'm going to sit out in the sun and I'm going to have some beers because I love this time of year for that. Carlos Lopez, that superintendent is scary. Fun story about my profile picture. So obviously it used to be just the normal one straight from the game. But me being so creative to create a new one, I actually went on a one of those AI generated images ones, put the superintendent in as a reference, and just got a load of ones back and ended up choosing this one. And scary, I'd say it looks more before it just I just looked annoyed, and now it's more of a menacing sort of look, which I don't really think reflects me, but I like it. Next question. Ryan attempts to do stuff. How is your mental state when playing Cursed Halo Legendary? It honestly depends on the mission. And when you see, well, if you've already seen it, or when you see it, me playing the library on Legendary, by the end of it, my mental state was, I'd say, well and truly shattered. And it's already been tested quite a fair bit, even playing Cursed Halo on normal. So I'd say it's, it's, uh, it's a bit of a mess, I'm sure, in time, it will improve, but... We'll see, how about I answer that question again once I've finished it and we'll we'll see what the verdict is because I'm only just past halfway through. Terror Prime, why Halo? Good question, why Halo? Well, Halo is the most, my most played game series throughout, you know, my, well, most of my life. I've been playing it since I started with Reach. So I guess I am a Reach kid. But, um... And then, well, I started with Rich, I didn't really know what even the story was, I just played it because it was fun for quite a while after that. And then I started getting into, you know, Hidden Xperia's lore videos and other people's lore videos, getting really deep into the lore and just falling in love with the universe and the game. And over time, that love's just got more and more stronger as I keep playing, as I keep experiencing it. So, initially though, my first video on this channel was actually uh, just a clip from Doom. Because I was just trying to do, well, I was playing a lot of Doom Eternal at the time, which I haven't played in a while. I might end up getting back into it, in fairness. So, what was I I was just saying, I was just throwing, in, I was just doing a load of random videos at the start. I had some GTA, some Battlefront 2, Halo, and some Doom stuff. I was just, I just wanted to really do anything, really. And then the Halo videos started picking up traction. Other stuff wasn't doing the same, and then the more and more Halo stuff I do, the more and more views I got. And then some, I don't even know how I've managed it, but I'm, I'm here today with over 34,000 subscribers which if I when well I started a channel in November started uploading on it of 2021 and if you told me then when I got to a thousand subscribers and I thought this is crazy that I'd end up getting up here to where I am now 
Oh, oh God, you're mad. <laughs> and I'm also my younger self as well, because this, it, you know, it was one of my... I wouldn't say it was a dream, it was more of a fantasy, but, you know, here we are. Hopefully I can keep this going for as long as possible, who knows. But, to answer your question, why Halo? It worked. And, you know, I, it's the, my most played game, I'm most passionate about Halo. I might try and play some other stuff for the sake of switching up, but, yeah. I just bloody love Halo. <laughs> Here we go, we're on the final one now. We've got a long one here from Michael Andre Pallon, who, or Pion, oh, I'm sorry if I messed up your name there, bud. But uh, also another person who's been with the channel for a while and always has references to uh, quite a few obscure things I've, I've never actually heard of myself, apart from rare instances. And we've got here, have you ever played any of the following? This is going to be interesting because knowing me, I haven't played much. <laughs> we've got Serious Sam. I've heard of it, don't know what it is, I haven't played it. Uh, Chex Quest, never heard of it, I haven't played it. Um, Star Wars Dark Forces Saga, I haven't played Dark Forces. I've, Jedi Knight, I think I might have played years ago. Uh, I haven't played Dark Forces 2, I haven't played Mysteries of the Sith. I think I played, was it Jedi Knight 2 I played? I might have played both. Jedi Outcast, I don't know. Jedi Academy, I think I did. And then we've got this one here, Painkiller, oh, I haven't heard of it, Shadow Man Remastered, another one I haven't heard of, Dusk, haven't heard of it, Strife Veteran Edition, haven't heard of it, Amid Evil, <laughs> haven't heard of it, Nightmare Reaper, nope, Chasm the Rift, nope, Cruelty Squad, I have heard of it, uh, but I'm not really familiar with it, so no, uh, HROT, I don't know what that stands for, but probably most likely no, System Shock 2 and the remake, no, I am afraid I have not heard of any of them which seems to be the the usual case when you ask me or reference stuff because I, I just i don't know i've i don't really play new games or anything i don't really explore it much these days so <laughs> and then i've, I've just played what i played when i was young because that's what i ended up getting for like birthdays and christmas so no i'm not surprisingly i'm only familiar with what jedi academy and uh not jedi academy jedi knight and no, no, I'm Jedi Academy. Who knows? I don't even know myself. But there we go. That is actually the end of uh, the comments that I got through them all in... Or uh, questions. Got through them all in one sitting there. I didn't, hopefully this isn't too long of a video. Uh, other than that, if you're here till the end after my rambling, thank you very much. I will do another one of these at some point, most likely, in the not-so-distant future. And... <laughs> yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't already, you know, we are trying to get to 50k ambitiously, who knows? By the end of the year, we'll see. And listen to Johnson. Do it. Now!